uh, Tomoharu Sano in the chair, who's called the players. And there uh, we will be underway in just a couple of moments. It's been a very interesting early few rounds. No real surprises at the minute. On my right. No, it, it's kind of going the way all the seats are uh, situated. All the winning. There is a, a pullout in the mixed doubles. The number two seed had to withdraw. But other than that, it looks like uh, the strong ones are pulling through. So, underway then. Oh, good intercepting immediately by Camila. Chin comes in, the left-handed chin comes in with a very, very good down the line. So level it up. Early moments, it's, uh, it's nervous times, isn't it? It is. I, I think at the beginning of the game you want to try for long rallies, and it seems like they're very short rallies, making a lot of errors. Well, that's in. Obviously, this uh, we should be talking about it from time to time during the afternoon. I mean, it's a huge hall here. I think the uh, the lighting above us is only halfway to the ceiling. It's just a massive hall here, the Plaza do, uh, de Deportes. And uh, I think the drift is definitely going to have some bearing. And I think it's coming into the faces of the poles. Is that how you read it? It is, yeah. It's, it's behind the Malaysian team right now. So if I was a Malaysian team, you'd want to be more on attack right now um, to give away the lift, even in doubles. You have more of a chance of hitting it out the back with the wind behind you. Well, certainly that tactic worked right there. It was attempted clear, but it was only three-quarter court and uh, eventually knocked to ground. So the Malaysians have taken early advantage. They're three points up at 5-2. That's exactly what we were talking about. It was uh, a brave lift up there by Chin, Yi Hui. But uh, it caught the breeze and out it went. Oh, she's a dominant smash as well. Yi Hui, 225 on that one. That's quite a big smash at this stage where they haven't actually warmed up too much. Yes, yeah, they both uh, hit, they're very powerful. And the righty-lefty combination from the uh, Malaysian team works well Seven, together. Three. Well, they've got right and left on the other side of the oh, net as well. That's true, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Both ways. Augustine <laughs> is... Uh, Camilla is the lefty. Uh, the rally is beginning to warm up. This is what we want to see. Lots of interplay, lots of... Oh, Good drops and good smashes, and again it's Chin Iwi who comes through with the uh, the score right into the body of Nadjetsta. So they win the service back and the point at 8-3 now, and the Malaysians have started well. They've been a little bit more aggressive with their play. Well, now that's interesting. Jane... Hancock has called a service fault, so it's going to come back to Poland. Just explain that to us, Shamin. Looks like uh, she lifted it a little bit high on the, the flick, meaning it's over basically Five, with the rib cage. Eight. So if it goes above that, your racket head, it's called a fault. Well spotted. No, it's great defense. Oh, a little bit lucky there. Well, in fact, more than a little bit lucky. I don't know whether we're going to get this replay on that one, but that was just an extraordinary uh, defense position by uh, Nadiezda, and she turned it into a point, and then gets another one. Seven, eight. So from a position where they were very dominant, uh, Chin and Wong from Malaysia are finding themselves pegged back a little bit. That's uh, four in a row. That's... Um, the Poles have won. That's out of court. Now that is definitely going to be moved 
away from them with the drift. It was always going out of court, but continued to, uh, to go that way. So Malaysia with a two-point lead. Oh, that's beautiful. That is an absolutely super, super shot by uh, Wong Peti. Straight down the line. And again, she comes through with a smash this time. It's very difficult to defend against that. They take the break at 11-7. And uh, certainly the Malaysians are a little bit quicker on the shuttle. They are. They're trying to attack more and coming down the middle, which sets up uh, their partner. So they're attacking down the middle and then get some guessing and then going down the sides. Some, uh, it's position game at the end of the day, isn't it? And uh, I'm sure that Chia Sun Kit will ask them to continue uh, playing this way very aggressively. Here we can see confirmation of the score. Then 11-7 at the uh, halfway stage, the interval stage of this first game. And uh, we are in round three at the moment. In the earlier rounds, uh, they in fact had... Uh, to see now, I'm just going to check. It's yeah, they had uh, walkovers in their round one, but in round two, the Poles played against Japanese pair of Maida and Swetsuna, and uh, the Malaysians Play. then played against uh, Kersnik and Turdi of Slovenia. They beat them fairly easily, in fact. The Malaysians uh, only got troubled to seven and five, so very easy. So you can't say they've had much of a test. So far, the poles were a little bit harder pushed at 21-17, 21-12. But um, it's 12 now to Malaysia, and they're looking very solid. And certainly, their ranking of world number eight is beginning to show its form. That's a little bit right. Again, it's all right, a little bit right, left, and in the faces, as you see it from the overhead, or rather the camera number one, are... Over there, that one, from right to left, you tend to get it, and into the face. It's a very, very high ceiling here. It's bound to upset the balance of the shuttle. Service over. A lovely little touch there Eight. from Chin Ihui again. 13-8. What would you do right now if you were in the Poles' camp, trying to uh, alter oh. this game? I think they need to try to attack a bit more right 14, now. They're, they're kind of eight. sitting back and waiting for the shuttle instead of going at it, being more a little bit more aggressive. So attack even from the service. They're waiting for it to come below the height of the net instead of going in for the stab. There we go. Oh, dear. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? That's the, uh, the feather flew off the shuttle. It was... Uh, a good attempt there by Camilla to put it to ground, but unfortunately, to no avail. 15-8 to Malaysia. That was called wide. Nine, fifteen. It's variety of attack. That's uh, attack is very important, isn't it, Charmaine? Absolutely. Especially in women's doubles, you have the long rallies, you can have 60, 16, 70 shot rallies, you just have to be patient and uh, not have the unforced errors and keep at, keep at the attack. Like all court games in the doubles, the vulnerable bit is right down the middle and that's what we saw right there. 17, Again, the Malaysians are really attacking well um, at the arms, in the hips, very difficult to return. Hard return. It looks like they've got a great relationship. I think that's very important, isn't it? On the court, they move as if they know each other, where each other's going to go. There's no, there's economy of movement. I think that's the, the term. Service over. Well, 18, 10. The Poles are really struggling here at the moment at 18-10. Malaysia three points away from this opening game. With this, the service was paid T. And there's the big hitting Ihui. They've got all the shots. That's long, however, but uh, you can't expect the Poles to really come back from this position, although they've got the service now at 11-18.
Oh yes, a lovely little touch at the net, easily played down by Ihui, and it's now two points away from this opening game, 19-11. Generally, of course, they go side by side in defence and front and back in attack, that's the norm. But it depends, of course, what their strategy is as well. Right, you, ultimately you, you do want to be more on attack than on defence. So, front and back, trying to go down the middle to set up your partner, just like that. Oh, that's a good shot. Good reaction shot. So they pick up uh, a point, 13-19. Hope springs eternal, but it's a long way back with this new scoring system. Well, it's not so new now, but uh, it's fairly new. And I think it's become quite popular. It is. A lot of the players uh, got used to it, and they're enjoying it. You, you definitely have to... Uh, start off very quickly you, you can't just sit back now and warm up and get used to the, the court you have to go right right from uh, the get-go there you go that's out of court and that's a bad bad shot there by uh, Nadjetsta and there the Chasun Kit the Malaysian coach will be very happy with this game point the opening game 2014 and that is it. That's 21-14 to Chin and Wong of Malaysia. And uh, really, they dominated from the word go. They did. Their attack is on. At the beginning, they were just trying to get used to the court, I think. And then once they got used to it, they, they took off. There you go. Confirmation, 21-14. It was all very hectic. So, some problems here for Poland. They've got to really try to counter this aggression of the Malaysian pair of Chin and Wong, who are combining so well. We are at the third round stage, and there you can see the consecutive points. They've actually leveled that at four each. I remember that uh, moment in the game. It was quite early on in the piece. Malaysia started early very well and then conceded four in a row, but they come now to the second game. And there, the left-handed Ihui, just having a little cough. I don't know whether she's picked up any kind of problems. It's always difficult traveling, isn't it? And our little mascot for the 15th World Championships here in Madrid. I must say, they've done extremely well, haven't they, with, with, by the kids, the, the students all around. Have, and we've got a lot of them here in this stadium today. They're, uh, they're encouraging this game. His first game into prominence in the early 70s and it's now hosting a world championship is um, really the defining moment where uh, the world is saying thank you very much uh, Spain. Welcome to the big world. They've got a lot of players on show here too. I better not go on too much here because we've got now play in this second game with the Malaysians starting out as they started the first at 2 love. Service over. One, two. Oh, that's a fabulous shot. What a great, great drive from Ihui. That left-handed shot, is, it's so hard to keep it in control. Beautiful. Very nice shot, yes. Every once in a while in a match, you kind of forget. You normally play right-handed players. So every, you get a few quick points with lefties. Well, a, a little look behind by Ihui. She couldn't believe it, but it was called in, and rightly so. So it's 2-3. The poles in service. A oh! little long. Service Not over. forgetting, of course, it's short oh. and wide with the serve area before you open up the whole court for the rest of the play. Service over. Three, four. So Camila with the service. <laughs> Oh, good anticipation. It's a lovely rally. Oh, unlucky. Just caught the, the tape at the top of the net there. It, uh, Nadietsta. But that was much better play, and uh, they competed well at the net. Oh, it's called in. Uh, the moment of indecision. The first moment of indecision we've had between these uh, Malaysian pair. And it was a, a good shot, ultimately. 
And it's 5-all, levelled up now, and the Poles fighting hard with the, the drift. Whatever drift is in this big stadium is actually behind their backs and just to their left shoulders. And they've now taken the lead three in a row. It seems like they're trying to play a flatter game right now and trying to attack. So we're still not going to see too many rallies in this match. Yeah, a good intercept by Eve Hui. Everything happens so fast, you have lots of choices until suddenly you run out of them. And that's the ambition of the opponent, of course. That's a nice overhead shot there as Yi Hui put it, puts it to ground. Yeah, when you're trying to lift cross-court, if you're a bit short, especially, again, with the righty-lefty combination, it's a, you open up the court too much, and she went and smashed it straight ahead. This time, it does go long, and it was good reading by Wong Peti. Oh, no. That should have been put to bed by Poland. Again, Eb, this time it's down through the middle. Well, they won that point about three times, I think, Charmaine. Yes, yeah, so it was a good setup, going straight down the middle to Chen. Some good reaction defense. Just a little bit off balance, he we the left-handed player just had to come a little bit too far out to this right side to play it and got off balance. Put it into the net for a point at eight all now. Service over. And with the new service, uh, with eight. the new scoring system too, the serves are so important. We've seen a lot of um, shots out or in the net. Now it's, it's a point, so it's uh, very crucial. On the line, that's a lovely stab there by Nadiezda. Nine. Picks it up at nines. And our overhead shot again shows it was right on the line. Oh, Ooh, just a little bit too long this time. Maybe a few centimeters out. So it's not been fantastic badminton at the moment. That's, uh, yeah, look at that. It was just on the edge. 11-9 interval. There's a lot of action as we come to the break in game two. And uh, Chin and Wong come over to our side, our commentary position area here with Chia Soon Kit. Fairly happy, I'm sure. He's still got a lead of two points here in this second game. But uh, the Poles have certainly put a bit more pressure on, and we wouldn't put it past them to, uh, to try to take this one. Here you can see the smash winners at 11-6 to Wong and Chin, and that actually tells the story, doesn't it? It sure does, yes. It seems like the Pol Polish team are a bit more aggressive right now. And have uh, a shot at win taking this game if they keep in it. And that stat is another interesting one at 20 to 17 unforced errors. It's, um, it's always tells the tale. If you get a little bit too risky, a bit too aggressive, sometimes you're going to make those mistakes. So the smash is on Malaysia's side. The unforced errors are on the pole side. So consequently, we have this position with Malaysia leading at 11 9, second game. Play. And again, you could tell that immediately that that, that definitely drift came into play there. Yes, but by this time of, of, of the game, you definitely you should know, be careful of hitting on that side. Come in a few feet and be safe. Line. Well, that was short as well. Line. Unbelievable. She had, again, another chance. They set up well, but they can't finish at the moment, the Poles. Oh. Mentally, it's quite tough because the Malaysian team, they have great defense, so you always, you want to smash it down, but it, it keeps coming back as well. Yeah. You get that kind of shot, that's almost frustration shot, isn't it? It's, you know, it's certainly not in the game where you're, trying, you're confident and your body language is good. That was a kind of, I must get something done about this. And of course, they're now 16-9 down, so every point puts extra bit of pressure on. Too good. 
the Polish team was pulling back, waiting for another lift, and he, she gave away the net there. Early rounds, of course, there's lots of um, matches going on adjacent court, so the crowd keeping an eye on all the matches here. This is a good rally. Super rally. Best of the match so far. And that's it. No. <laughs> yeah, you see, isn't that interesting? Chin Yi Hui had been reading it beautifully up until that moment when she saw, oh yes, right, it's in our face, that little drift. Didn't happen. Easily, and there's a crowd, aren't they enjoying themselves here in Madrid? Sunny Madrid, I should say, too. Beautiful temperature here, coming up to autumn, and it's glorious. Do you know, I was out for a six o'clock walk this morning in the park, Retiro oh. Park, it was beautiful. Sounds very nice. It was. Out of court, right, so. Point for 11-18. The Poles have got to start moving soon. They're one game down. They are three points away from defeat in this third round. That was long. That was a much better call. But it was uh, Petit this time who thought about it, looked at it, and called it good. 19-11 now. Well, the nets come into play a couple of times. The rally continues. Oh, that's well, a, a little, a little hand of apology there from uh, Wong Petit, but I'm sure that she would be very happy to take that. It touched the net three times, and the last time it was Malaysia. Then that takes up match point position. 20-11 in the second. Game. And that is it. The end of the match in this third round encounter. 21-11 in the second. It was 21-14 in the first. And really, that is very fair reflection on how this match was played and eventually won by the Malaysians. They certainly were totally confident, had a lot of confidence in their play. They teamed up well and ultimately were a little bit quicker around the court, had much better options in terms of their shots.